I will continue using the information provided in exercise 9-3 set B, and this is B part of this problem. And number one, as I mentioned in the earlier exercise, it is extremely important to first ask yourself first question, what kind of method are we using? So method to record or to account for accounts receivable. In this case, the method is not really mentioned. Well, how can you figure it out? If you read carefully, this one says allowance for doubtful accounts. Well, you don't really have the allowance account for the direct write-off method. Therefore, by spotting the allowance account, you can tell yourself this company is using the allowance method. That's number one question. Only for the allowance method itself would you go to question number two. What's your second question? What kind of method do we use to estimate the allowance or what kind of basis do we use and we have two percentage of sales or net sales and percentage of receivables in this case again carefully read and you will see right here we estimate bad debt expense based on percentage of net sales so we're using percentage of sales okay now we're all ready to go uh, the first requirement that I gave you, you need to prepare the adjusted journal entry as of December 31st using 1% of net sales. And as you see, in this case, I really don't give, give you, I did not give you net sales, but you do have these two numbers. If you take net uh, sales revenue minus sales returns and allowances, that will provide you with a net sales amount of 1740000 by taking 1% of that net sales, that will give you what that is to be expected as your adjusted balance, adjusted balance in bad debt expense, 70400 So that's your 1% of net sales. Well, a couple of questions. How in the world did I know that it's bad debt expense and not the allowance? Remember, net sales will be on your income statement. What other account is present out of these two, bad debt expense or the allowance, on the income statement to be able to take the 1% out? The, only, the one that is there is the expense or bad debt expense. Therefore, I want this balance to be on the income statement. Next question. How in the world did I know to put it on this side and not on the credit side? Well, the normal side for the expense will be a debit. That's how I knew to put it on the debit side of that account. What, what do we already have in that account to begin with? It's a temporary account, just like any other expense, so it does not have any beginning balance. In addition, we don't use this account during the year, the year whatsoever. The only journal entry that we make there will be the one that we're about to make for the adjusted journal entry. I'm going to put it in red. So therefore, to go from 0 to 17400 in that account, we have to make an adjusted journal entry for 17400 That's your debit side. Okay, so I also wrote it in the journal format to make it easier for you guys. In the credit side, we would always go to the allowance account, just in journal entry for 17400 So allowance just falls into default because my letter is bad debt expense. That's the one that goes with sales. So we answered the first question. The second, the extra question that I gave you, identify or give me the amount in the adjusted balance in the allowance. Don't be fooled. Even though we didn't really use the allowance, we didn't start the allowance, I might be asking you for the balance in that account. Again, it doesn't mean you're going to jump straight to the allowance. You still do the work the same way as you did because it's a percentage of sales method, but then at the end say, oh, by the way, adjusted balance in the allowance account will be the unadjusted balance plus what we just adjusted it for. The total is $21,700. That's the answer for this question. $21,700 on the credit side. We're done.